Alrighty boys, it's time for more of everyone's favourite game mode, Battle Royale. This time we are taking a look at Realm Royale, which is fairly new on the market. And it is made by Hi Res Studios. I'm pretty sure that's not their official name, but that's what we're going with. Basically, there's a couple of interesting mechanics that make this a little bit different than your casual Battle Royale experience, like Fortnite, PUBG, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, we're going to talk about those and jump into a couple of games quickly. Show what this is all about. Okay, so the first thing that separates this from every other Battle Royale is that you have a class system here. Basically, you have different classes that you can pick and they sort of affect how your gameplay works out, some of the weapons that you can get in the game and some of the abilities you can get. As you could probably tell by looking at this screen here, you can get different abilities in this game and they all sort of affect gameplay a little bit differently, do damage to people, heal you, and so on. So there's a little bit more depth here than just your standard run-of-the-mill Fortnite game, etc. And as of course this is made by hi -Rez, as I mentioned already, and they are pretty well known for making Paladins and Smite. And as in Smite, which is a MOBA, basically you get a mount in this. So you press Z, or Z as it were, and you get a mount, little horse, you ride around the horse, you know, pretty cool, gets you places, saves having to have vehicles but also makes you move around faster, so it's actually very, very cool. Another thing that is a little bit different is the dropping in. Basically, you drop, and you just sort of fall straight to the ground, very similar to... Oh, I can't think of what the game was. The trash one. The real bad game that we played that time. Uh... Oh, hello. Let's go, friend. Me and you. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, also you turn into a chicken when you die, and you get a chance to play hide-and-seek, so you can, like, run away. And if you do somehow manage to get away from whoever's attacking you, you basically get another life. So, so it keeps it a little bit interesting with that. When you die, you turn into a chicken, you run away for 30 seconds, and then you come back to life, as far as I know. I've not managed to pull it off yet, but... Ooh, hello. Oof. And as far as I know, the hit to... T t uh, hang on. Hit detection is a little bit rough. See, I didn't really shoot at that man, but I shot near him and he still died, so... See, you turn into a big chicken? Uh, it's actually... I, I like the chicken thing, kind of. I like it. <clears throat> and yes, as you can see, we do have abilities in our bottom right-hand corner, so very similar to how a MOBA would work. We get abilities, so I've got a forward roll. This is for, specifically for the hunter, just so you know. We have an ability that makes us invisible for a very brief period of time, and we sort of fade out a little bit. And at the moment, we have a flare, which sort of, I think, reveals where people are on the map. I'm not 100% sure exactly what it does, so do correct me if I'm wrong. Another important mechanic about this is disenchanting stuff. So you can disenchant pretty much every item in the game, and it turns into shards, in which you can take them to a forge and craft yourself some legendary items, some legendary weapons... Legendary armor, health potions, and so on. Basically makes you very, very strong, very hard to kill. But of course not invincible because that would be a little bit too strong. If you could just farm up all these things, go to the forge, and you know, end up... Oop, hang on. Yeah, end up having just literally be unable to be killed. So makes it a little bit balanced, especially since you do have to wait a minute for whatever you're trying to craft in said said forge to actually be crafted so that's a little bit interesting very very cool so why would you play this over something like fortnite or pubg or any of the other battle royale games that are or have come out already basically basically you're looking at the abilities and all basically all the stuff that i've already mentioned you're looking at the abilities you're looking at the movement you're looking at the mounts and stuff you're looking at the chicken mechanic which is actually very cool i do love the chicken mechanic you turn into a chicken play a bit of hide and seek if it works it works if it doesn't no big deal People are complaining on the Steam page that it's breaks immersion or you shouldn't have the chicken thing. It's it's a bit of fun, like, no one's taking this super seriously, so it's not that big of a deal. I imagine that's... Heard a myth. I imagine that's some kind of drop for weapons. Wow, the aim on this man. There he comes. Hello. Ooh, headshot him. He, ooh, hello. Now he turns into a chicken. Come on, get him. Yes, okay. Uh, we do actually need this health potion, so we will take it here. 
surrounded by a mountain of loot, so hopefully we don't get actually seen. Press play, some boots, which apparently we already have. Oh, take those instead. Disenchant pretty much everything that's here. This is for the most part no use to us. Okay, we've got full shards, so we get. Oh, hello. Was there a man over there? I feel like there was. Grab these potions up. The fog sets in. At the moment, there is no oceanic service, which is a little bit of a bummer for me, especially since I live in Australia, so. But. They do have Brazilian service, so I'm fairly certain they're. They're not up against, like, putting up oceanic servers. I don't think there'll be too much problem with having stuff like that. So they have, at the moment, they have Southeast Asian... Oop, hello. They have Southeast Asian servers. They have Brazilian servers. They have American servers. And they have European servers. So... Oop. Oh, God. I'm not sure I can win this fight. Nope. I'm probably going to die. Oh my god, we're, we're, we're... Oh, he turned him into a chicken. We did it. We did it, boys. Ooh. That was a close fight. Holy shit. Alright, we're actually doing okay. We're doing alright here. Could probably get working on the reason why we're actually playing the hunter. Which is to get the, the bow. Because apparently the bow is... Kinda stupid. Okay, we basically got everything we need here. Bunch of health potions, bunch of health potions. Armor potions, rather, lol. Okay, so you can probably see it on the minimap in the top right that there is a little forge icon, which is where we're heading towards. Basically, you can head to the forge and use a bunch of shards and some chicken legs, apparently. Whatever the chicken legs, I don't know how you get the chicken legs, but I'm sure that'll be apparent when I play this a little bit more. Basically, you go to the forge, you wait for a minute, and you get an item. So after you pick what you want, you have to wait a minute or so, and then you get whichever item you pick. And in this case, for the hunter, you pick the bow, because apparently it's broken. I saw pretty much everyone on the actual servers complaining that the bow was broken, that they need to nerf the longbow, so... And from what I've played with it, it is actually pretty good, like really, really good. It doesn't make you invincible in any stretch of the imagination, but it is still really strong from what I know. Hopefully there's no men around here, because that would be very annoying. Uh, I wasn't convinced we could actually win that fight before, but we did, and we managed to pull it off, so not too shabby. You can also get legendary armor, legendary potions, and stuff like that. So yeah, health potions, armor potions, and a piece of armor, which we might do as well, actually. We should be able to defend this once we get our... Longbow should be able to defend this pretty easily. Uh oh. I feel like somebody's on their way here. Give me that longbow. No! Give me the longbow. Okay, only 20 more seconds. Okay, so we're going to have a legendary piece of armor here, which is a some boots. Give us 300 armor and 30% mount speed, which is actually... That's pretty handy. So yeah, our mount's actually much, much quicker than it was before. Hopefully we don't just get picked off. Do have a lot of health on this, and the weapons, I think, can deal like a thousand damage, which is... The longbow does about a thousand damage if you actually hit someone properly with it. Let's get on a mount. Let's go up to this man. See if we can give him a good old what for. Oop, hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. We're actually going to die. Okay, I need to get better at using the bow. Okay, 
Okay, we should probably just heal up to full. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh my god. That was actually really good. Okay, give me these potions. I don't need any of the shit that you have, guy. Okay. That was actually... We were into that, man. That was pretty good. You do have to be careful about the surrounding hills, though. You are pretty vulnerable in this game most of the time. Yeah, let's mount up. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. So, one of the things that you always get with high-res video games is a very polished, very good-looking environment and a very good-looking game world. Like, this is a fantastic-looking game. I cannot fault this in any way whatsoever. It is just really, really nice to look at. Like, no complaints here. Looks very, feels very Smite-esque to play. Feels very, very much Paladins to play, but not saying that is a bad thing. I do... Paladins is actually a good game. It's just sort of overshadowed by... Like Overwatch, mostly. Mostly people shitting on Paladins because they play Overwatch and vice versa. Like, it's it's significantly less popular, but that doesn't make it a, a worse game. So, and also Smite's very, very good too, from what I know. I don't, MOBAs aren't really my thing, but Smite is very, very cool. I like the idea of Smite, at least. So this should be one of those drops. So we'll head over here and see if we can get anything good. What do we got? Poison pistol. Okay, I'll take that. Not sure if it's any good or not, but I will take that. Oh, hello. No, no way. <laughs> Just fucking domed me. No way. The fucking laggiest man. Can we back? No. Oh my god, we can't. So, that's actually pretty fun. Like, it's actually a very, very cool game, and I can't really make any complaints. I had a fire of limbs there. That was actually literally my best game. Anyway, that was a quick look at Realm Royale. Definitely pick this up because it is absolutely free on Steam at the moment, and, you know, you can't really complain too much about Steam games that are free. Basically, even if you're in Australia, just play on the set of these Asian servers for the time being. They're not too bad. Not too laggy, and I'm sure this game will be very, very good once there is... Oh, what is happening here? Oof, man's good with the bow. Oh my god, the quick scopes. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe if you are new around here. This very much helped me out, and I would very much appreciate it. This has been Luke from Less Than Average Gaming, and I hope you guys do have an above average day, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Somebody wants